Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm bringing you this month's installment of the Fan Made Backrooms Level series, which has actually been going on for over a year now. That's insane. Thank you. Anyways, these are some of the best levels that were submitted by you all over the past month that I saw. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Let's dive into some of this craziness, shall we? So, first up for the video is level 7111, or the race with the parasite. Yes, this is insane. The level itself is classified as a class death zone difficulty, and it's got several environmental dangers that make it pretty much uninhabitable and not safe to live in. Now, the level itself actually looks like a dark, musty forest that's kind of decaying. The trees have no leaves on them, and the ground looks old and eroded and cracking. There's no day or night cycle here, and the further you go into the level, the worse it gets, which is pretty common in a lot of backrooms levels. In fact, it gets so bad that it'll eventually just start steaming and burning. The whole ground itself will just catch on fire, but more on that later. It's possible for this level to have multiple multiple wanderers on it at one time, but it's so rare that two people have likely never seen each other simply because of how big this level is. It's infinite. The only other thing on here, besides you, will be a very dangerous parasite type creature. Now the creature takes the appearance at first of a leech, and this leech wants to do nothing but harm you. The parasite is able to adapt and morph into more dangerous forms, like a lizard man looking thing, in order to better chase and stalk you. And the second you get sent here, that parasite will start going slowly towards you. Kind of like that snail trend from real life where the snail slowly gets closer to you as you get older. This parasite will start going to you fast the second you get here. It almost seems like this level is alive. Like the forest and the parasite are connected and the whole thing is a living creature in a way. There's a bunch of logs in this entry and in the third one, the person explained that the level changed how it looked completely after this person saw the parasite turn into that lizard man. So that might mean that the level triggers a change when the parasite itself changes or something like that but we do know one thing and it's that this parasite has one goal to chase you deep into the level the ground can start to erupt and spray fire and brimstone everywhere which is dangerous to you and the parasite as well but your main goal should just be escaping and running away from this giant lizard thing chasing you <laughs> To enter this level, you can noclip through sub-level 2 of the Shady Grey after falling asleep there, but I would never come here. And to exit, you can climb a tree near one of those brimstone fiery explosion areas on the ground, then jump off of it to be sent to a safer level, hopefully. But pretty much, this level is dangerous, and it's got a parasite that hunts people to extinction. And it can adapt to whatever it's chasing. So, have fun with that! Next up for the video is Level Don't Move, and it's classified as a class undetermined because of its weird properties and undocumented entities. The level itself looks like a stony old church building with endless winding hallways, and some of them have torches lining the walls. Now, the hallways themselves are all different. Some are tall, some are short, some are wide, some are stony and dirty, some are clean and precise. It all just depends. The whole level, though, is set in a monochrome gray, black, and white type color, and all the pictures of the level turn out that way, too. And those torches that are on the wall are the only things here that aren't gray or black and white, because sometimes when an entity is near, they'll turn blue. Now, there is another part of the level, uh, it's called the gardens, and it's outside of the church's walls. And it's a really weird area where an exit is located, so more on that later. But the garden itself is full of flowers and weeds, and it just looks really liminal and creepy. And just eerie overall. The entities in these church hallways are smilers, hounds, and memory worms. And then there are two level exclusive entities here as well. The first one is the nuns, which are humanoid type entities that look like nuns from real life, except these nuns literally don't show their face. Like they have a veil over themselves at all times. They roam the hallways and they seem to have no real meaning. They're kind of just floating around. The second entity is the Pope. 
who is almost never seen. But when people do see him, apparently he's staring at you and stalking you from around corners. And if you look at him, he'll go into the nearest door and slam it right in your face. But whatever you do, don't look into his eyes because you'll regret it. To enter this fun level, uh, you have to stand in a cultish looking circle in the woods on level 512 and you'll be sent here. And to exit, you can find some holy water in the garden area that I talked about and pour some of that out on the ground to be sent out. However, most people say that if you do it this way, you'll be sent to a more dangerous level, but I'm just trying to escape the Pope. I don't know what else to do. Lastly for the video is level 1957, aka the Bridge of Bravery. This level is classified as a class Zeta difficulty because it is potentially safe and secure, but it also might have a dangerous entity or two, and the environment is kinda dangerous. I'll talk all about it in a few minutes. The level itself takes place on and around a rusty old bridge above a thick wooded forest. Some of the trees in the forest have reddish leaves that can either be dark red or light red, and there are other trees that are not red, but are instead pitch black, which is pretty creepy. The level has an anomalous effect on it that makes all flashlights and artificial lights not work. Like, you can click the on button and nothing will work as long as you try it. And things like phones and radios don't work either. The only tech that works here is DSLR cameras, which is how we get these images. Now, when you do get sent here to this level, you'll wake up on top of that old rusty bridge that's over the woods. The trees under the bridge are blackened and the sky around the bridge is so dark that you can't really see anything. It's almost always nighttime. But once you start walking on the bridge, you'll notice that there are paths that are cut down through the woods that lead from the bridge. And that way you can go on these paths and explore the woods around. But it's not recommended to do that since after around 20 minutes of being here, you'll start to get a really strong sense of paranoia, which is also common in the back rooms. It's still scary, but you should aim to stay here for less than 20 minutes so you don't start getting paranoid. For the first 20 minutes of you being here, you'll have this feeling of courage and exploration. Kind of like you just want to go around and see what's in the woods, explore everything, go on all the paths, but that feeling is really dangerous because that courage can be fake and lead you deeper into the woods, and once it wears off, you'll start to get paranoid, and some people have been seen walking in the woods and have never been seen walking out. Now on this level, there is a weird community of people who hide in the woods. They live in these weird red tents, and there's around 30 people. They're very strange, but overall, they're nice enough, I guess. But the people have been seen hiding in trees, stalking you sometimes, so it's not really known if you can trust them. Nevertheless, to enter this level, it's actually pretty tricky because it seems like no entrance works more than once. However, a recent entrance was no clipping through a red door on level 11, but it probably won't work if you try that again. To exit, you have to stay around for 20 minutes, and then a portal will open somewhere in this level. Now, you have to find that portal to leave, or you might be stuck and never be able to leave. So the second you think 20 minutes is up, start running around and try to find the portal and jump through it, and you'll be sent to another level. The good news is, the level itself isn't too big, just a few miles, so who knows? Good luck with that, though. That's it for the video, thank you so much for watching. If you are still indeed watching, comment Thanksgiving Brugly so I know that you're a real one. Hope you all have a great holiday and I thank you so much for everything you do for me. I, for one, am very thankful for all of you. I love and appreciate each of you. Thank you so much for watching. Channels are going crazy. Thank you so much for enjoying the videos and interacting with them. I'm literally having so much fun making all these videos. It's great, thank you for watching. Check below for any links you need as always, and don't forget while you're down there, check out Toogly and Spoogly for more videos from me. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.